Right folks, here's Crook's Peak. I've just walked from right over the other side from Winscombe, over the other side of that hill. There's Axbridge Reservoir, Mendip Hills, Glastonbury right in front, it will not come out. The Vale of Avalon, Brent Knoll, the M5, and here we have it. The children have had their picnic. The crows are looking to see for crumbs. And there's no one up here but me now. For a, for a while. For a second. I don't stay long. It's always quite windy. Up here. But I'll get up on the top. Where those birds are. That's the top. Look. That's the top, and then right over there is Breen Down, which I did the River Axe walk to about two weeks ago. And beyond that is Steep Home Island, which I went to in 2012, and I've mentioned it on lots of videos. But not everyone will see those videos, so I always mention it. I've kept my jumper on for now and I'm glad I've got my spring clothes on. Um, and here we are, me on the very top, looking over there. I saw a llama earlier. Um, of course, just down there, Just down there we've got uh, the church of St Andrew at Compton Bishop, which once again I'm not doing today. I'm not doing that today. Here we are, this is it everyone. There's the motorway over there. And there's um, over there, let's just zoom in again. Somebody could be photographing me now, you see, on the top. It's quite cold up here. There's a motorway. And I'll be going down through that village, down there, through the church. I'll just zoom into the church. Should come in. Wait a minute. Uh, there's the church, look. Loxton Church. I'll be going into there, probably to have a bit more picnic. Then I go through the village and I climb up and I walk along through the top of the wood there to the top there to the plantation and then back to Hutton we've got people, we've got school group down there and we've got different features there from the rocks you've got to be careful it's quite slippery might hear somebody on the video. Now there was, I found a lead, I hung it over a pole. I don't know where the bloke went, he could have gone, there might be a path down there, I'm not sure. Um, oh, I can see somebody in the bushes down there, I can see the hat showing. Circle of uh, different little features down there, see that? That could be a little maze that someone's done. And then you've got different other rock formations down there as well. So, turn off of the peak. There was a big piece knocked off years ago, which was more of a nose, like the hook nose of the peak. 
um, got knocked down. But, um, just a little video while it's quiet. With the, I think the kids might have gone now. They were singing a minute ago. So it's turned out quite a nice day. I'm just going to roll my sleeves up again. Take every opportunity. Yeah, I can't hear the children now. There was a group of school children out with the teachers. Oh yeah, there's a the round bit there. Yeah. Fertility ring. That's it. Yeah. tribe of kids up. Yes, if I'd come through that field I would have bumped into those cows up. I wish they were lying down though and probably could have got past them. But they might have had calves. There we go then. Walked all that this morning. And nobody on the top now, look. I've visited, so if I come over this way again, I probably won't do the top. I don't always do it. If I do um, St Andrews down there, I'll probably do a circular, go down, up, and back round. Yeah, I'm still exploring over here, actually. Um, last year I did new tracks. Um, and like I say, I've got that Barrington Coombe one. It's going to be a big, quite a big walk, that one. I'm planning to do. So it's getting further away now. Look, I sat up there earlier. Had my cheese and tomato. I just had a note bar. So that's my picnic while we're going downhill, it don't matter, see? So I only get the indigestion when I'm going uphill. Or if I get it going downhill, it isn't as bad. I 
I wonder if that bloke picked up the uh, came back and found his um, lead I hung it on the pole there might not have been that bloke it could have been somebody else I think I can see it so hanging if he does this walk regularly or someone else will have it It's just sort of strange he didn't put the dog on the lead when he passed the llamas. There we go, there's Crook's Peak. Seems to shrink each time I see it. Gets really well worn by the by people. It hasn't it's lost its hooked nose. It used to have a big hooked beak on it which has fallen. That was its defining feature really the hook part. I've taken a picture of it. You saw two llamas walk by here but with somebody. I thought it was interesting. Right we've got quite a pleasant walk back now. Um we have got to go uphill though, but not yet. Not yet, so I'm just going to have one more peak up there. Or Crook's Peak. Like I say, I don't always do it twice in a year. Because I've got other walks I do around it, it's, it becomes a feature, but I usually do try and do it once a year. It, isn't, it doesn't even look so... Do you know, it used to seem like that to me, like really high and steep. It's actually not. It must have been flattening slowly. Right, over now.